Hi, I'm Jonathan Mitchell with the award-winning Richmond Lincoln. Behind me is the 2023 Lincoln Aviator in the Reserve Level 1 trim. Now, I have covered a lot of these Lincoln Aviators in the previous years, and not much has changed for 2023, so I encourage you to go back and look at those highly in-depth videos. But today, we're just gonna take a quick look around the 2023 Aviator and go over the, some of those new features that have come out and unfortunately, some of the things that have been omitted. But without further ado, we have this beautiful Silver Radiance Aviator right behind us, so let's check it out. So as we start to take a look around this 2023 Lincoln Aviator, I wanted to mention some of the new features coming for 2023. Most notably is the new Jet Black package. Now this is going to give you uh, black exterior elements, it's going to eliminate all the chrome like you see here on your grill, uh, your side cladding right here with the Aviator logo, uh, that little chrome strip down there and you're going to get some nice 22 inch black aluminum wheels. There are some new colors for 2023 including jewel sandstone and diamond red metallic. Now, unfortunately, there are some things that have been omitted for the 2023 Aviator, most notably being the hands-free foot-activated lift gate, where you swipe your foot under and it will raise up this power uh, rear lift gate here. You no longer have that option, but still is completely powered uh, electronically. You can unlock it with a button in the front there on your key fob. And of course, when you have the hatch open, there's a button that you can press that'll power it right back down. The Aviator is just a beautiful vehicle all around though. And I think it's one of the most striking SUVs on the market today in the segment. Uh, as you can see, it is inspired by flight with this uh, kind of tapered rear back there. Uh, it has movement in its design even while it's standing still. All the body lines on the Aviator are nice, rounded, smooth. Uh, as, you, as I said, inspired by flight, you can just see how air would just pour around these vehicles. Uh, a lot of the competition these days are using hard, jagged lines, which uh, just <laughs> don't do it for me personally. Um, but another thing that you get with the Lincolns is uh, that classic American luxury feel that you're also not going to get in the competition. Uh, this is most notably when you uh, put the active air suspension on these vehicles. It just rides over the bumps just like those old Lincolns from the 70s would. Um, and another benefit to that is it has an adaptive load height so you can actually lower it uh, to an entry level height, uh, making it easier for older folk to get in or people who are not as mobile. And you can also lower it to give you better access to the load floor here in the rear. Now this is a reserve level one, which means it's pretty kitted out. It does come with these 20 inch wheels. You do have a 21 inch option available as well. I'm gonna come up here, if we can uh, see the sticker here. It's kind of dark, but anyway, I'm going to just read it off for you what this has here. It comes with uh, floor liners, the luxury package, which includes the rear door sunshade, uh, the perfect position 30-way seats. You've got a Revell Ultima 28-speaker audio system, and unfortunately, one of those things that have been omitted for 2023 is the subwoofer on that system. Um, you also have that adaptive suspension package like I mentioned, uh, an illumination package, which will give you an illuminated star up front. It also gives you that uh, warm embrace when you approach the car at night. Um, if you wanna take a look at that, I, I do cover that in some of our other Lincoln videos. Um, it basically just is like, uh, the lights will illuminate up here. It'll give you a puddle light down on the ground. Uh, it's kind of just like a welcome hello back to your Lincoln. It's pretty cool. Now under the hood here, we are looking at our 3.0 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine with auto start stop. That is pushing out 400 horsepower and 415 foot pounds of torque. And that's paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And you can get this in either rear or all wheel drive. Uh, you can also opt for that plug-in uh, grand touring model. 
That'll give you 494 horsepower and 630 foot-pounds of torque. And you can get that with an electric only mode. So if you have a short distance of travel, you will not need to use gasoline. There are five drive modes in this aviator, not including the Grand Touring, but you got normal, conserve, excite, slippery, and deep snow conditions. There's a lot of purposeful technology that also comes with your Lincoln. You can use your phone as a key. You can leave the key fob at home, travel light with your phone. Say you're going on a jog somewhere in a nice park like this. You can use your phone as a key to open it up, start it, and lock it back when you're done. Uh, this is part of the Lincoln Way app. With the Lincoln Way app, you can also start your car, unlock it, and lock it from afar. Sorry, speaking of flight, there's a nice military jet flying overhead. So now that we've taken a look around the exterior of the Aviator, what do you say we take a peek inside? Right here you're going to get some nice styling here. You've got these contrasting elements with your uh, leather wrapped door card here, along with your 30-way perfect position seat controls, three-person memory, illuminated spun uh, speakers here part of that Revell 28 speaker audio system down here you do have some storage and cup holders and then as we move across the dash here it's all straight linear beautiful styling here so you can see that seat right there you've got 30-way controls including the headrest side bolsters for your shoulders your lap and then also leg extensions let's pop in start it up you got some nice animations there on both screens this is unfortunately running the old sync 3 system um, a lot of the Lincolns have now moved to sync 4 however this system is still amazing it's fast very responsive so really the only thing that you're missing out, just to be honest with you, is that uh, cordless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, which is a great feature. However, you do have USB ports right down here to plug in your phone if you do want to use those features. Uh, what's unique about Lincoln products, and they have been doing this for a while now, is this uh, push button shifter here. This is like a piano key style right here in the middle. So if you're unfamiliar, that's your park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Uh, you do have physical climate and audio controls right here, and they're uh, facing towards the driver, which is always nice. You have a really nice black trim down here. Uh, it feels good to the touch. Right here is your drive mode selection. Uh, with those drive modes previously mentioned right in here you're going to get some cavernous storage along with a little shelf and your wireless uh, phone charger right there you have a nice all digital display on the dash there that you can customize it does change with your drive modes uh, so in normal uh, you get less information and we'll pop it over into Excite, which is the Aviator Sport Mode. As you can see, that brings up your RPM gauge right there. You also have a calm screen there in the middle, which you can change that to give you more information. Now, you're also going to get a nice heads-up display. I don't know how well you can see it. I know it's flashing on screen here, but that's not the case. That's just... Uh, effect of the LEDs in the camera but that gives you a lot of information from your time temperature uh, which gear you're in your current speed the speed limit and how many miles you have till empty if you want to illuminate uh, these buttons down here you can see you have your adaptive cruise control this does come with lane centering and uh, your adaptive cruise where you can set a distance to the vehicle in front of you over here are all of your controls for your headlights, which you can just leave in automatic, set it and forget it. And you have that physical button I mentioned to open your power lift gate. Do have a front facing camera with a 360 degree view in here, as well as this is where you can turn your parking sensors off and your auto start stop on and off, trash control, auto hold, 
and then uh, you do have active park assist as well in the aviator where you can navigate to parking or the vehicle will park itself in a parallel or perpendicular spot. The aviator does come with three rows of seating. Uh, the third row is currently down, but we're going to go and take a look uh, in the back. Back here, I will give you the numbers for the storage on screen here. You have additional storage right under here, a 12 volt, as well as some uh, grocery uh, tags there. Fully electronic third row, which you can lower and raise with just a push of the button. Power controlled lift gate right there. Back here, you do have a button simple one press and you can scoot this out to access the third row here not much room but it'll be plenty for uh, uh, children and uh, smaller adults on short rides it does come with some cup holders back here and this seat can be adjusted further back so if you have taller passengers in the second row they can be comfortable this does come with the center uh, portion here which includes storage you have controls for that sunshade up here some storage and cup holders down here you do have fully heated seats here in the rear um, heated and cooled uh, you have climate controls which you can control both the second and third row individually uh, you can check out the air quality here in the cabin you have an auto air refresh so the system is filtering cabin air which keeps it nice and easy to breathe inside the aviator uh, you can control your audio from back here as well and you have some different other settings where you can have a calm screen change the brightness or turn the display off completely some map pockets here in the back and here you can see just how beautiful that dash layout is so all in all the aviator is a great choice if you're searching for a luxury SUV with three rows and here at Richmond Lincoln we do offer an exclusive 100,000 mile warranty on every new Lincoln that leaves our lot you're also going to get our five-star customer service because we are driven by you Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know what you think of the Lincoln Aviator down in the comments. Thanks for watching.